Hey guys, and welcome back to more Miller Child Mordor. Hidden on the map will be um, several different things you can collect. Um, the one is artifacts. So, you find an artifact, just approach it, and you can collect it. So, you will have to look for a piece on it. Again, I'm not going to read all these because I read them in a previous playthrough. So, a lot of the lore won't be included in this one. You can watch my previous playthrough if you're interested in looking for the lore. I thought if I was right it was on I thought it was on this cuff here. Yeah, okay, on the other side. Alright, worms. Welcome to the Black Gate. You'll be building our watchtowers for us. Hard work will be rewarded. Sir, do you mean hard work will be rewarded with a shorter sentence? The traitors, the lot of them, murderers and thieves. When I say rewarded, I mean I won't throw you to the categories. Don't know and don't care. As long as it ends with these men are not soldiers. They are not ready to die. All things that live must die. Man alone faces the risk. Okay, so as you see, slave, we got 20 XP for liberating the slaves. Climb here. It's the way I think to climb up here. Because there's a. Yeah, exactly. Free slaves that unlocks outcast missions. So, climb up here. There's a slave for the free. Give him a good old stab. And free your slave. So now we have a. I must go back and rescue my friends. They've been worked so hard they could barely stand. So he looks a little bit different on the man, me map, just because he's a crossbowman, so. Crossbowmen look a little bit different. So. Um. At least there are fewer ghouls during the daytime. I'd rather be watching out for the Gravewalker yeah. than the Menorian things. So the Gravewalker, I believe, is us, if I remember the story correctly. <laughs> But I, can't, I could be incorrect. So this, these green guys are orcs with intel. So. They can be, often want to try to find one that's, exp that's um, kind of solo. Because otherwise you have to kind of make sure you don't kill the worm you're trying to inter interrogate while killing a bunch of other orcs. So. So we grab him and we can interrogate him. You are mine. So it just tells you, it'll tell us about um, a stealth vulnerability, how we, and then um, tell you some of these stats. So you guys get to pick the one you want. So we'll pick this one Log Dash the Venomous. So it tells us his location, tells us what his motive is, and about enemies find about his weakness. So he's vulnerable to combat finishers, means a combat finisher will kill him in one hit. He's vulnerable to stealth finishers, means we can s sneak up on him and kill him. Um, anything on a mountain beast kills him. He doesn't like grogs. Anytime you terrify um, anyone, they will just run in fear. Which makes can actually be a good thing and a bad thing. They will not try to fight you, but they will continue to try to run away. So th his strength is he has a weapon that poisons you. So when he attacks you, you'll take damage and you'll continue to lose damage. Since he's an archer, he shoots very quickly. You cannot jump over him, which is that we don't have. And he has a group of followers with him. So... Um, we can't uh, shoot him with arrows, but it will not instantly kill him. Our best bet is to kill him with either finisher or stealth finisher, but since he has a group, stealth may be the best way. And once we have the worm, we can just get rid of him. So. There's another artifact here we can collect though over here. So we can just drop... Oops. You're also hidden while you're in um, those bushes, like in any bushes, just as a note. So, 
I believe it's on the is it on the inside? Or just on the side? No, on the tip. The first messengers have rolled into camp. They're reporting few casualties. We've struck a mighty blow against the forces of Mordor aligned against us. Let it be so, and not fools idle chatter. Hagador, what news? <laughs> they say we've won a monumental victory. You'll not be needing all that Athelis have been grinding, my friend. Few need healing on this day, and more's the wonder. They say the Golden King has brought back a prize. Sauron himself, wearing the heavy chains. So, a lot of these are relics from ages past. I have lived half my life on the boundary of Mordor, thinking it was dead. Never knowing the stories it held. The Land of Shadow is awakening from a long slumber. It has many stories yet to tell us. So it just showed us that we have an upgrade available. So, we may choose from one of the other things, from these. Um, I don't think we had anything crazy in our bow slot. We could definitely get someday. Runes are really powerful, especially if you have um, good runes. Can't remember if my runes are from beating the game or if they're from um, the, the DLC. I have the Game of the Year edition, so I get all the DLC as well. So, could be from either. Kind of all folks killing more chief. Immune to poison. I don't really like to be able to be that easy, so we're not going to pick this one. Um, additional terror. I guess we'll go with that one. So. Power of Captain turns the level of the room here. Drop killer Captain uses his availability will guarantee the type of room he drops. So, if you want to kill, a, if you want a certain room, that's what you should kill the war chief with. So, kind of interesting little thing. However, you can still only kill, if you want a bow room, you can only kill him with a bow if he has a bow vulnerability. Just note that as well. However, he still has a chance to drop it even if he doesn't have a vulnerability, but you're, you're guaranteed. An interested party. They attract attention of a mysterious creature. Track him down and discover what he knows of you. What sort of road it hides in the shadows, I wonder. Something of great power has left its mark on him. I sense it. And you feel he has answers? For both of us. We should find them then. It shouldn't be too difficult. These tracks are not quite human. Not quite beast. Even my reason to investigate. Be wary. This creature leads us to peril. It would appear the creature is an apt climber. So, as you see, we're new in the Wraith world. You can't really see very well um, where your enemies are. So, there's kind of advantages and disadvantages to be in the Wraith world. So, kind of have to switch between the two. Get rid of that guy though. Oh, the both objective is to free the slaves. I freed that one slave just by running by. Is that all of them? Somebody sneaking around. You and me, come on. And they'll also throw rocks at you if they can see you when you're above them. Do not hesitate. Run to freedom. Now is our best chance. Okay. Okay. Continue to track the golem. Your creature's path is fraught with danger. It's not that bad. You, for the most part, will let us run through. Else. So. We are the elf lord when, when we are in um, Wraith world and when we're in other world, we're Italian. We're pretty much Italian in the both cases. The runs tracks lead us right into that Caragor cave. 
There! It's on the run! So, gotta trace it down. So these are bats. I actually... I'm killing the bats as I said quest later on. So, take a note of where these caves are in the world. So, just for later, if you need to kill bats, that's a nice thing to know. Mushrooms. Oh, here we go. There was somewhere here. So you get bonus points for killing characters. It's not really called points, but XP. The bigger the creature, the more experience. Yeah. Hunters, they must have tracked the categories here. Yeah. So hunters throw spears. They generally do more damage. You can easily identify them though from the spears on their back. So what you can do is you can pick up more arrows here. Oop. So we lost one out of focus, so. so we can use execution to kill him. Oh. Attacked by the terrible. So exactly like we saw. One arrow won't often kill a uh, Kergor. Oop. But two shots to the head of Will. Your cowardly creature lurks around here somewhere. No more arrows here? Okay. So we can drain to get additional um, arrow charges as well. We must have it back. We must have it. Quiet. Quiet, precious. I think you could sneak up on me so easily, eh? Hey? No! No, don't hurt us! What does he know of it? That gives me the inkling that this game takes place somewhere between The Hobbit, in which um, 
Bilbo stole the ring from Gollum and fellowship before um, Frodo makes his journey to Mordor. So we get a little build point. You get quite a few ability points early on. So the red are ability points that you have to complete or get by earning power and unlocking power struggles. Yellow ones are ones you cannot get unless you play missions. So um, counting categories and studying them are not stuff you can get until you do the correct things. Writing, writing grogs and stuff too. So it's kind of... Although it's fun to get a lot of power, it can kind of stall you um, if you wait too long. However, once you get Brian, it kind of totally changes the game. So it's fun to enjoy the game before you get Brian. So I really like that Nate. It's really s good skill, but we're definitely going to go with Elvis Witness right away because it allows you allows you to go on the map so much quicker. I might actually be able to get and. The bow room as well. Not as worried about the health room immediately. There we go. So we only ever have deadly archer, but can be good for taking out captains. We'll be swapped out whenever we get a better room. So we can look at the map for our quests. We can actually head to this forge tower. Supposed to be able to set the right button with the right click. There we go. No. Didn't really want us to <laughs> you just set a waypoint there, but Archer did get it eventually. That's what Gorgum says. So what you can do is you can run straight up on an enemy and stealth kill him, and it will often totally scare them. Oop. The other thing you can do is you can Watch out, he's got Oh wait, never mind. I can't remember what allows you to brutalize enemies, but you often run faster than enemies too, especially if you use the skill we just got. So you jump over something, hit spacebar, and you'll get a boost. So you can use that to your advantage. I believe this is where it's trying to go though, right here. So you really get, um, really get speed really quickly. So this looks like a broken tower, but it's actually um, a great tower. So it might not look like anything on the main map, but it is. Stones, this tower reborn, as am I. You can also advance time, which is pretty neat because you can. Um, there's all power stones to change time day, but it's also bad because as um, time passes, new orc captains can appear. So. Okay. And it always unlocks stuff on the map. I can't remember what this one is. Oh, these are. This is that. Um, hidden world or whatever they call it. I can't remember what it's called. Oh, it's right there. I have to be close to it. Pick it up. Nani here, Galar Mordor. So, locks the illith. I can never say that. I've never been successful, so I won't even try. Oop. These I Thildin, Stam, forged of Mithril. They hold memories of the ancient past. The knowledge within may be fair or ill. I meant to ground execution in there, but I accidentally grabbed them. Sometimes I pick control to a shift, but... You'll unlock more and more of these quests by saving people. The others didn't get away. Please help. But Herb you need Okay, we do have survival challenges already. So spiders and Nephromdil. So good way to get money is by completing these challenges. 
training. Scrap training. It's time we killed something. The flower. And done. But anyway, guys, I think we'll call it an episode here. I'm gonna run around the world, um, complete a couple more objectives as we work our way there. But if anything important happens, I will definitely make you aware of it. So thanks guys for coming out for more Shell Mortar. I'm back in the next episode for more. Thanks guys. Later.